welcome to another edition of Around the Block. Today's episode will take us to the Northeastern Correctional Center, a minimum security facility located in Concord, Massachusetts. The Massachusetts Department of Correction was awarded $679,000 under the Second Chance Act, a federal grant that promotes public safety by supporting programs geared toward the successful transition of offenders to the community to train inmates in a DOC Green Technology Training Program. DOC created this program in partnership with Massachusetts Community Colleges to provide technology-based vocational education to 160 to 200 inmates at five facilities. The grant, which targets high-risk offenders, started in October 2010 and goes through May 2012. Well, the Green Tech program is a program that focuses on green technology and energy, and it has uh, a component that allows inmates to learn uh, about modern-day technology for, you know, a good set of skills. Inmate gets in this program, first he has to have either a high school or GED certificate. That's the first qualification. Then there's an interview process that he goes through, uh, just like a regular job interview that you would do on the street. Uh, so it's a good practice for the offender to learn those set of skills. I want them to learn how to become uh, energy auditors and uh, weatherization technicians where they can go into a home, perform a blower door test, and also help to increase the efficiency of the uh, furnace and the energy that's being used to heat and cool the home. The Green Tech program allows inmates to get a weatherization and an energy certificate, which gives them some qualified skills when they leave the facility. We have learned, you know, how to operate a blower door. We have learned, you know, how to seal ducts. We have learned how to put more insulation in the house than what it has. We have learned how to save money, you know, in this class. And the things that this class has is, we can't get it in probably another place. It's a two-part program uh, consisting of a classroom and actual hands-on. Well, the classroom piece is, um, all of us really work together, for one, and um, the instructor, he takes his time with us in, 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 in explaining very clearly. And um, the hands-on, the hands-on, as far as the blower door test, those things right there are priceless because the mechanical skills that you get with the experience of actually doing it far advances what you read in a book. I've, I have found teaching uh, these individuals uh, to be rewarding. The response that I've received, the uh, enthusiasm and interest in the program really makes me enjoy teaching. Many of them want to uh, go on with their lives and become perhaps successful. It's a 20-week program. It involves two segments of 10 weeks each and presently we have 22 inmates enrolled in the program. Upon completion of the residential weatherization and energy efficiency phase of the program, the inmates are ready to move on to the employment readiness and life skills phase of the program. The job readiness class involves uh, teaching the inmates about looking for a job and obtaining a job. We teach them how to do a resume, we teach them how to interview, how to contact employers, how to network. Um, we give them all kinds of information on where to get training, where to get uh, workshops on job search, and we help them in every way so that they're prepared when they leave and when they complete the course to go to an employer and obtain employment. We've, we read different articles about different green companies that are coming to Massachusetts. So either one, go work for one of those companies, or figure out how do I want to start my own business. The Department of Corrections gave us this great opportunity to advance our career and educational skills in green technology and weatherization, give us greater opportunities for employment when we get out back into our communities. Employers have been very receptive to this program and the fact that they have training and they have the job skills to go out there and sit down with an employer and talk intelligently about their skills and about where they're going in life uh, is very, very helpful and I think the employers are um, 
you know, happy to interview these people and to give them jobs. The more you can learn, the better a chance that you'll have to, to stay out in society. You'll become a better productive member of society. The more trades that we learn, the further away we can stay away from doing the bad things that we used to do. I think this is a really excellent program and I hope they keep on pursuing it for others. The DOC Research Division worked with DOC Legal to obtain inmate consent to being contacted to gather post-release employment information to measure the effectiveness of the DOC Green Technology Training Program.